today's model workshop. Today I'm going to be telling you how I painted my Tiger 1, my Tamiya Tiger 1. So it's a North African Tiger. Uh, at first I scratch built the interior just because I realized it would be visible through the tank turrets, uh, through the hatches. Um, spray painted it white interior and then put a bit of weathering on that, both the driver's compartment and also inside the turret. Um, Pretty straightforward, chucked a couple of gubbins in there just to make it look good and then painted the overall thing in German grey, just a standard German grey base coat. Didn't bother with primer, I'm pretty slack when it comes to that. Next up, the hairspray technique. So it's standard, cheap hairspray from your local supermarket. You spray a coat of that over the top of your base coat, in this case it was the German Grey, and then once that nice thin coat of hairspray is dry, you spray desert yellow over the top. Uh, I did a little bit of colour modulation over the top of that, so some shadows here and there just to define the edges of panels. Once that's wet, you can just gently, once that's dry, you can gently wet it and just chip away at the at the yellow coating with whatever you want to chip away with, a toothbrush or a toothpick or a scalpel, just to get that really nice chipped effect. Um, it's much better than any kind of painted chips you can get because it is authentic chipping in the paint. Um, you can actually see the two, the two layers of paint. Um, I also did a light wash with some burnt umber artist's oils, really thinned with uh, just plain old mineral terps, just to give a bit of definition to edges and to shadows on the paint. So yeah, I was really happy with where we're at from here, but we needed a little bit more. To give us that little bit more, we went for the salt technique. So this is where you gently mist the surface with water, sprinkle on some sea salt, really nice and random, and you get these you know, beautiful chunks of sea salt all over it. Then you can spray it, in this case I sprayed it with a really diluted coat of white. Um, very, very diluted, really light spray, gives this effect. And then I did the same thing again, wet till that's dry, wet it again, sprinkle on more salt, and then I did a very, very diluted coat of black. Gives you that nice modulation, really, really random again. It's that really random effect you're after. And um, yeah, I think it does add a lot of depth to your coat. And our finished result. So yeah, I'm very very happy with my tank overall. I feel that the chipping is quite authentic. The colour modulation is really random and nice. You can see great big chunks where the paint has come off. And when you get up close, yeah, lots of randomness like it's been out in the rain and the sun and it's been baking away. Um, yeah, feel free to experiment. It's really, both, all of these techniques are really fun to do. You're never quite sure what you're going to get when you're doing them and I think that's part of the joy of doing them really. Um, then there was just you know, standard weathering, a bit of dust, a bit of pigments and really it just you know, took it from here and, and elevated it to the next level. But yeah, a lot of fun. Please try it out yourselves and uh, comment and let me know how you go. Cheers guys. Bye.